Welcome back, folks, and a yo-ho to you all! For our last video, the mighty pirate Greybeard was defeated by the Guild of Dungeoneering in a very piratey jewel of piratiness. But do you happen to know the legend of how Greybeard came across his name, Greybeard? For you see, he was a pirate, and his beard w was grey? Or you must have met Greybeard before! Nobody knows that Greybeard's beard is grey except those who have met Greybeard! It be a closely guarded piratey secret. Yes, I'm sure it is. Well, we're a little off being able to expand our guild with uh, better idols, so what we're going to do is we're gonna go exploring. To the Sand Fortress with the Kingdom of the Crab King! And we're going to take Sarken along, because he's been doing quite well so far. Defeat three giant crabs! Welcome to the Crab Kingdom! Thank you! A kingdom of prosperity! Oh! Are we coming here just to brutally kill all these crabs? Also, here's an eel. Aquatic nature venom and electrical. Oh, That sounds really dangerous. Let's... let's fight an eel. Let's fight an eel. I don't know what to expect here. These sound quite dangerous. They are moderately dangerous. That's not good. We don't have a huge amount of magic defense. We have a little, though. We are going to use the regenerate card here. Just to gain some health. Ow! I'm going to use this just to not take as much damage. Eels are nasty. Fortunately, you have perished, Eel. Even if you discard a card, we are victorious. And level two. Now, if I recall, we need to get a lot of uh, actual armor to deal with the crabs, because the crabs have a lot of various... Yeah, armed, aquatic, nature, and spooky. What are you doing? Stop it! Yeah, I have the feeling we're just being really mean and attacking these crab people for no particular reason. Apart from the fact that they're here. Which is never really a good reason to do anything in the Kingdom of Dungeoneering. But if you are a member of the Guild of Dungeoneers, you've been told to come here, and so we are, well, unfortunately fighting these people. Also, this is going to be a lot of damage, we're Crab Mage, and I'm sorry. That was six points of damage. Nasty. And I do believe that is some uh, perishing. Kapow. Ooh, do we want that? Hmm, do we want the parrot? We actually probably want the parrot. The parrot provides a nice mixture of abilities, plus the spiky trait. Let's have a parrot. We don't all look the same, you know! I have a crown, for instance. It's very shiny. Let's put a uh, werecrab mage here. And let's start working towards getting these linked up as well. Let's see what we can do to feed a crab. We probably can't defeat a crab at this point, especially considering the fact that we don't really have any substantial armor. I suppose at this point we actually probably want to use Bash. It's not a bad card. I know some people don't like Bash, but I don't mind Bash. Aspect of the Bull. Oh, you cycled that card. Probably not to your benefit. Really not to your benefit. And there's that spiky trait from the parrot uh, kicking in. And I do believe you have perished. Terribly sorry. There we go. Scimitar. Hmm. Or an eye patch. Ooh. Do you know what? The eye patch is actually not a terrible card to see. Let's use it. And unfortunately, we now. Whoa, there's a hermit crab there. They're tough. All block amounts increased by plus one. Let us put a. I put a parrot. You're still going to go for the quest objective, which is actually quite useful. It's actually very useful. And if you put that there, that links up all of our quest objectives. 
Charge indeed! You're getting into the piratey spirit already, Sarkan. Hmm. Shift here we actually want to use, because you want more cards. Doubles or block amounts. Fortunately, you're not actually dealing any blockable damage. Which is helpful. If successful, I discard. Do you know what? At this point, I can afford to actually discard. That is not a card that I don't mind seeing go. Especially, considering we have Interrupt here. It's still a useful card, even if you're not a ranger. And I'm afraid... You're nearly done. Let me use Rekindle here, just to, uh... Basically, our attacks here do nothing. Ouch. Good thing I have Bark Skin. Spiky goes through armor. And you, sir, have perished. Wave's actually quite a good card. But, fortunately, we have more effective cards. Stiletto... Mm. Stiletto's a good card, but we do lose dice. It goes first, though. Do you know what? No, we're just gonna take some gold here. We're gonna take some gold. We're gonna put that there. I'm gonna go fight some parrots. Hopefully I can deal with this parrot. Hello! You're on fire! This is something I actually didn't consider. Oh! Ow! Oh, wow! That hurts! This might be the end of Sarken. No, it's not. Actually, maybe it is. Um, we need to deal some damage really quickly. And we need to heal. If I, it's too late. We have perished. We were pretty much doomed there. Oh, Sarken. I could have healed. Animal would be a dungeoneer. A cunning fox, an agile deer, or a fearsome beast for a foe's condemning. But alas, this dungeon is a lemming. I am so very sorry, Sarkin. I could have actually healed there. I could have healed, but I didn't. Would it have actually made much of a difference in the end? Probably not. Um, I think we were pretty doomed. I shouldn't have actually put that, uh, that parrot down there, I don't think. <laughs> Let's have another druid. But I think we're going to uh, not use a druid. I think we're not going to use a druid for the uh, second attempt at that. A shapeshifter, rather. We could use a drunken sailor. In fact, let's use a drunken sailor. Buffalo number two! Off you go. Off you go. I'm back! Ah, they're still so friendly to us. Even though we murdered one of them. Also, I think it might be a little early for us to decide that we were going to actually go over there and see that crab. Is that a positive fountain? It's a positive one! If we can lure them over there, that'd be fantastic. Ouch. This could be painful. Oh, this could be very painful. Fortunately, that's a lot of damage. I think that's actually enough damage to just kill the eel. Yup, one hit! Bandax, banda ooh, bandana, really good card at this point. We need that armor. It's also a very piratey. If we put a hermit crab here, uh, you will go there. Excellent. Excellent. We want that buff. Okay, what can we do here? We'll use squinty eye. That's only one point of damage. <sighs> That's not. Let's use lots of damage now. Kapow! And... Yep. Squinty eye again. Ooh. We're not gonna lose if we attack. And the rum ability should trigger. There we go. Rum! And I believe... We need to, uh... Deal more damage. There we go. Another card, and I do believe that's Vict. Mm. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, 
Oh, we've actually lost. Because of the fact that we, we would have killed ourselves with the negative health abilities there. So Buffalo has perished. Another hero dead at last. Their future now is in the past. And all because their selfish pride was chasing fame and glory. Well, they certainly tried, didn't they? Well, two buffaloes have fallen. Two buffaloes. However, we have plenty more buffaloes where that came from. There is, in fact, a never-ending supply of buffaloes. So many buffaloes, in fact, that we could just send an unlimited army of them. But I think this might be the last buffalo for a little while. Let's give it another go, shall we? <laughs> I wonder if we're going to put an eel down. Well, we have a choice of an eel, an eel, and an eel. I'm not entirely sure that's worth its weight in doubloons. It is an eel. But, why not? It's a sort of pseudo-barbarian, the buffalo. <laughs> but I do believe we have won. The uh, drunkard sailor, rather, is the uh, pseudo-barbarian. It sort of has some of it, and not all of it. What's this? Swift and growth. Ruffled shirt, however. We could always do with a ruffled shirt. It's very snazzy. Now, what can we fight? A hermit crab? Fight a mermaid, actually. Put some gold here to lure him that way. Uh, we don't really want to put any of those tiles down. We need a little bit more actual uh, defense before we move on to fight these uh, crabs. Fall over is actually a good card here. We shall be using it. Squinty eye is a good card here too. Ouch. Um, reckless swing? It's gonna hurt. It's also gonna hurt the mermaid. A lot. Leatherbound tome? Hmm. Yeah. I think it's gonna have to be the troll femur. These items are really not... really not that good. But if you're gonna go over there, we're gonna delay you a little. With a, uh... With a big gem and an eel. We may get a nice item out of it. I'm not holding my breath at the moment, though. Reckless swing. Go! That's a lot of damage. This is also a lot of damage. Fortunately, enough damage that we could easily win. Armor? Oh. That is a good piece of equipment. However. Two stupidity cards. Ooh, not good. Not good at all. Well, we'll go fight this and hopefully we'll get some better cards soon. Because that is just really bad. The stupidity cards are thinking going to be the death of Buffalo here. I think they are most certainly going to be the death of Buffalo. But they might not be. We're going to have to use Squinty Eye here and hope it doesn't... Oh, it didn't. It did not discard that one. It's a lot of damage! Plus the frail card here. Seven points? Yep, seven points. Which, added onto this smash, results in victory. A good helmet? A good item? Mmm. No, that's not really that good. That's okay. Blade 2, I suppose, we can use. It does look at least piratey. It at least looks piratey doesn't it? We'll put that there. And we'll put this here. And then, who was a wear crab there? Its hands can't hold weapons anymore. Their weapons. That actually uh, didn't exactly fit on the card, but we'll go fight one crab. And hopefully be victorious. I'm not entirely hopeful. We need to discard. If we're, if we're going to discard a card, we need to draw a card. Here we go. Now is a good time to actually get rid of that. Now is a really good time to get rid of that. This is an unblockable attack. Therefore, we shall use it. Okay. 
Now we want to start dealing lots of damage back. Is this going to be enough? Um, probably, actually. Now... Oh. Hmm. I think Buffalo is doomed. Yep, I think Buffalo is pretty doomed. Sorry, Buffalo. Those crabs are a bit too much for you. We'll send the shapeshifter in next time, I think. A tender thing is a hero's life. A pity. A spear, a sword, a rusty knife. A dungeoneer's life. Now that's to be had. Still, he should have got that tetanus jab. <laughs> Do we know any other druids or shapeshifters? Hmm. Not necessarily. So, let's just have someone. And then I accidentally cut off the video. Whoops. Unfortunately, that was the end of Buffalo. I think we'll be using the shapeshifter next time to uh, try and get through that. Didn't do very well there, but we won't always do very well. It's just the way it goes. But hey, at least we have enough gold to build a uh, new uh, expanded uh, idol. We could have plus one new choice, or just plus one health, which is actually the one I'm going to get. So, when we come back, folks, more buffaloes have unfortunately been added to the graveyard. There are three of them now. So, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Well, it's a good thing you got plenty more buffalo where that came from. Water buffalo, if you know what I mean. Because water and pirates and yar! Yar? No. No yar about the water buffalo. But, but it was a good pun! A very punny pun! No. I suppose only pirates get it. Yar.